Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Is William Ruto going to the route that the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, used during his rule? And when you look at the decisions that Uhuru Kenyatta did, when it comes to having military being assigned in certain sectors of the Republic of Kenya and also the governance, William Ruto himself came out saying that let the military be assigned towards their specific role as per the constitution outlines. Number one, you saw Uhuru Mege Kenyatta coming out to assign military taking over the control of Nairobi County. Immediately, Mike Mbuvi Sonko was impeached. And because there were several projects and also development that were to actualize, what Uhuru Kenyatta did was to submit or rather to hand over certain functions to the office of the general body. And you saw even when it comes to a military taking over, they were given a name that they were going to operate on. Despite of that, William Ruto never came out receiving that news in a good way. But as we speak now, news is just in. As Ruto now returns Kenya Meat Commission to Ministry of Defense, where Uhuru Kenyatta, the former president, came out giving that responsibility to the military. But again, William Ruto came out like the military was given the responsibility that were to be given to some individuals, not from the military. So for him to come out to do such kind of decision that the Kenya Meat Commission is going to be given to military is just giving us an indication that things are not good. Because as things are not good, the decision, the decision to come out and give the military, the Kenya Meat Commission to meet the Ministry of Defense, then it is showing a kind of loophole that is in this sector. We are being told that it is not only this Kenya Meat Commission that has been submitted to the Ministry of Defense. William Ruto is looking forward to partner with the Ministry of Defense when it comes to several development across the Republic of Kenya. The other day he came out saying that military was going to be assigned in different projects and development like building roads, building schools, building hospitals, and I know this is going to be well financed by the government of William Samuel Ruto. So the same same man who came out criticizing Uhuru Mige Kenyatta that is using military too much when it comes to his leadership. Now William Ruto is taking that route. And I thought Uhuru Kenyatta had placed this military, you know, to come out and manage the Kenya Meat Commission. What happened? When William Ruto was sworn in in the office, they came out changing things faster, not even understanding the reason why Uhuru Kenyatta came out doing such decisions. So I think um, the more they remain the same, and William Ruto is not willing to have the military to take over several parts, the way Uhuru Kenyatta used the military, William Ruto is not going to succeed in some parts. Look at Uhuru Kenyatta used military to control the Nairobi County. Do you remember John uh, uh, Badi, the General Badi? 
who to control a uh, part when it comes to several issues and projects in Nairobi County. Number two, you look at several roads that were built by Uhuru Mige Kenyatta. He used the military to do such kind of work because in the military, there is no this kind of um, drama, you know. When they start working and are well financed, they always do whatever they have been told to do. But when you look at, for example, you want to build a road, or you want to manage the Kenya Meat Commission, some individuals will come out handling some duties in a way that is not pleasing the government of the day. So, uh, this proves that Uhuru's leadership um, actualization is now coming back to hit William Samaruto as William Ruto is realizing that Uhuru Kenyatta was using military not in bad faith but in good faith to ensure that his projects are going to be stimulated. So he has realized that is if he's going to continue to use all these individuals whom are his friends, <laughs> loyalists, politicians across the Republic of Kenya to manage such different projects that he is expecting to be part and parcel of his agendas, big agendas to be actualized, then he's going to fail. So truly, he's coming out to prove that Uhuru Kenyatta's um, type of leadership coming out involving military to help him, help him actualize his big five agenda was in good faith but not in bad faith. So William Ruto coming out during electioneering period criticizing Uhuru Kenyatta that Uhuru was using military <laughs> to scare away some, for example, contractors, investors, to block the leadership, for example, when look at Nairobi, William Ruto came out saying that Uhuru Kenyatta was endangering Nairobi County as a, a county itself, and again, the capital city of the Republic of Kenya, that William, uh, or rather Uhuru Kenyatta's um, involvement, involvement of involving the military to take part and parcel of Nairobi County some part of Kenya Meat Commission, <coughs> building roads, hostels, and schools. This was to deny Kenyans to do those kind of work. So for him to come out to do so, such kind of, of uh, decision, he just is confirming to us that he's making a U-turn and also confirming that the decisions of Uhuru Kenyatta to use military was something that was correct. So without any fear of contradiction, I think um, it might not be seen now as William Ruto is learning the tactics and tricks on how Uhuru Kenyatta used those kind of tricks and tactics to rule the country. At the same time, himself, during that time he was the deputy president, he was tearing, destroying the name of this government. So for him to come out to use the tactics of the former regime is realizing that the trick and plan is, of course, was working well for Uru Mege Kenyatta. So for him, he has embarked to the military. So as time goes by, we believe that William Ruto is going to use military in all sectors, main, main sectors, like building roads. That is something that he came out confirming. Building schools, he came out confirming that. Building hospitals, he confirmed on that. Building um, different development in his government, he came out confirming that he was going to use the military because military also, they are well knowledgeable when it comes to building roads, building schools, building hospitals, and different sectors across the board. So this news was just a kind of shock as William Ruto is making U-turn to uh, shock, of course, his allies 
as you know that some individuals thought like they were going to enjoy the fruit of the Kenya Meat Commission. So starting today, the Kenya Meat Commission is going to be controlled and managed by the defense forces. What do you think? Is William Ruto going back to the plan and objectives of Uhuru Megei Kenyatta to actualize his big plan when it comes to his promises he came out giving Kenyans? Or rather, is, go is he going to succeed using his leaders to actualize these different projects across the Republic of Kenya? Because he's now trying, he's weighing, was Uhuru Kenyatta using military in a way to actualize or accelerate the development across the Republic of Kenya? So that is whatever he's trying to do. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.